All right, now we're into part two. Part one, I've already showed the airplane double feature, which features airplane and airplane two, the sequel. And now we're going to continue from here. And this is the uh, the theatrical cut of Drobit Taylor. I know there's the unrated version of this, but this is the original theatrical cut. And I haven't given this movie a watch yet, but um, well, I will take the time to watch this movie whenever I do. After all, it is pretty funny, and I like Owen Wilson, so yeah one who played Lightning McQueen on Cars which I've already showed Cars in my Disney DVD collection I also have the first Adams Family on VHS but this is the sequel to Adams Family And this one is the oldest Paramount DVD on the planet. This is because this DVD is, is from 1999. Yeah. This along with that next DVD I'm about to show. These are the oldest Paramount DVDs I have ever owned. And this and, and, and that next DVD I'm about to show happened to be one of them. So, yeah. Most of these clear discs you're about to see, you get to see me in the camera in here. Like what the Adams Family values, this is the oldest Paramount DVD I have ever owned. And this DVD is also from 1999. And this is the original print, which is very hard to find now. It's got a pink barcode on this one for some strange reason. Which, I have no idea why. But oh well. It's a very funny movie and a good movie to watch around the holidays. Now... I don't have this movie on VHS yet, but I do hope to get this movie on VHS sometime in their future. Classic movie right here. One of my favorite classic movies right here. And this happens to be one of them. I also have this movie on VHS, which is the 1990 release, although my copy is the Night High 6 reprint. Yep, another Warner Home Video reprint, as for usual, which Warner Brothers no longer distributes Paramount stuff nowadays, because Paramount is currently owned by uh, Viacom CBS, or Paramount Global, as I like to say. Paramount movie co-produced with MGM 
and and Hasbro, of course. nineteen sixty nine film and this DVD set is originally from two thousand three but this one's a reprint from two thousand six because of the gray discs and this one comes in a fat case which you don't normally see these uh, DVDs like this very often Let's just take out one of the discs that way you can see disc two a little easier. Hang on. It's a little pain in the butt to get this out. Ah, forget it. I'll just. I'll just leave disc one like this so that way you can well you can see disc two so you don't need to worry about that. Start a second pile. The first pile is getting full already. I do have the first two Crocodile Dundee movies on VHS, but this is the third film, and the only um, the only film in the trilogy I have on DVD. Do hope to get this movie on VHS sometime. And I know there's a sequel to this, which is called the Very Brady sequel, which I don't have yet. Yet another Warner Home Video reprint, as usual. And this movie is based off the TV show, of course, which that series ran from 1969 to 1974. So, yeah. Next two are Paramount Nickelodeon movies. Well, these these next two movies are from Nickelodeon, of course. As, yeah, Paramount does own Nickelodeon, so, yeah. Yep, another Warner Home Video reprint as for usual. Yep. Yeah, I have a lot of Warner Home Video reprint DVDs there from Paramount. I don't have Paw Patrol the movie yet, but I hope to try to find that one someday. But this is the sequel to Paw Patrol the movie.
Whoops. And this is another Paramount DVD I have with this uh, uh, current Paramount logo. I don't, know, I don't know if you can see it. And I know I said in part one, this is one of two uh, Paramount DVDs I have with this current logo. But I have a third Paramount DVD with this uh, current logo. That would have been Paw Patrol Rescue Nights. My bad. Sorry about that. If this, if this doggone camera would focus... Nah, it's not going to focus any well, but that's okay, but oh well, mistakes happen, so do not worry. Now here's the last movie I have from Paramount. I did watch this one last month, and that is a very funny movie. I do enjoy this one. And I'm planning to get this on VHS soon, so, yeah. Alright. These, um, one, two, three, four, five. These next six DVDs, well, technically seven, because one is a two-disc set, are all Max and Ruby DVDs. And Max and Ruby is my childhood, so please do not laugh at me about... Please do not laugh at me for this, guys. Because I grew up watching this show like the same reason with iCarly. I had this one for a while. I had this one since um, the 2010s. Which I don't know what year do I have this DVD for. But I forget. Yes, I did make my own guide for this one. I know it sounded kind of stupid but to make this, but oh well. It does have that which I won't be showing. This one's a pain in the butt to get this guide back in there. I also have the rare 2006 VHS of Party Town with Max and Ruby, but Afternoons with Max and Ruby I do not have yet. So that's why I have this. And this one's a two disc set. And this one's on a double pack. This is my only Nickelodeon double pack DVD I have. Get this open, will ya? There you go. I do apologize about these DVD cases. They're just kind of a pain in the butt to open. Afternoons with Max and Ruby is a, is a reprint. Well, Party Town with Max and Ruby, as you can see right here, is the original print. And I do know Fabian's Media Corner 2001 has the has this double pack DVD. Yeah. And I grew up watching Max and Ruby, so that's why I just, so that's why I have five of these.
Sorry, my my head was kind of itchy, so I do apologize for that. But, oh well. It happens. This, this one, I actually got this along with the, um... Along with the season one of Muppet Show and the seasons one and two of, of Seinfeld. If you saw my update back in 2017. I do have that one on a on a double pack DVD. I do have to get this one. I do not like the backyard again. That show kind of stinks. That one I do have, and I'll show that in the next part. Ugh. Good grief. Not Dora the Explorer. Don't get me involved in this. These two are okay. Blue's Room. I'm kind of neutral to Blue's Room as of right now. So, don't ask. If you ask, there's going to be a heck of a lot of problems. Oh, excuse me. Sorry I farted in, in this video here, so I do apologize. I really need to learn my manners. Are you kidding me? There we go. That's more like it. Oy. Sometimes DVD cases can be a pain in the butt to open. Oh my gosh. This one comes in a different eco box, which is kind of interesting. Alright, now here's the last Max and Ruby DVD I have. Another hard DVD case that is a pain in the butt to open. This one comes in the same eco case as Perfect Pumpkin. The next DVDs are all Paw Patrol. So get ready. I have a heck of a load of Paw Patrol stuff right here. So yeah. From this up until rescue night, so yeah. So get ready. This is gonna be insane, guys. Very insane. This was the first Paw Patrol DVD ever released, and this was also the first one I ever owned. I, I do know DH uh, Media Shack has all of these. This one I have for a while. I had this one since 
Very cool blue cases here too. And I know most copies of this DVD come in a slip cover, some copies don't. This copy doesn't. And I know some copies of this DVD come in a black case, which I know it's kind of bizarre, but this one comes in a blue case. Okay. Oops. Darn it. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to show you one more DVD for this part, and then I like to end part two. Because, um, so I don't want to go over 15 minutes. Alright, that'll be it for part two. Stay tuned for, for part three. And and when I do part three, I'm going to fix the release dates for these uh, Paw Patrol DVDs. So, yeah. So stick around for part three.